check out popcrunch.com, the web's premier celebrity tabloid. Hey there, it's Jason Falls, and welcome to another Fridays with Falls here on The Daily Idea. I've uh, been going to some business meetings of late and uh, uh, have been uh, asked to wear a necktie on occasion. And I made a pledge several years ago not to wear a necktie because neckties uh, make me uncomfortable. They cut off circulation to my head. Uh, they make me sweat. And if you use the logic, uh, the same logic that's used to argue for the necktie, then everybody ought to take thimbles and stick them up their nose. Uh, because all it does is make you uncomfortable and cut off circulation and, and restrict your breathing. So I am uh, starting a campaign here on The Daily Idea to outlaw the necktie as a fashion accessory in the United States and around the world for that matter. In order to uh, facilitate that, I thought I would educate all of you here on The Daily Idea today about the history of the necktie uh, so that you can understand why it is a ridiculous fashion accessory and how it came to be. Now understand that uh, I went to college for and am a trained journalist. So that being said, understand that I made all of this up. Um, the necktie was invented in France in 1658 by an arrogant croissant baker named Jacques Thai. And uh, he would walk around his uh, bakery uh, sweating and profusely and, and saying things like, Ha oh, ha ha ha, parlez-vous et vos tower le car? Uh, which roughly translates to, um, I haven't bathed in weeks and my wife doesn't shave her legs. And he was looking for something that would prevent him from sweating so much and getting sweat actually into the croissant dough. So he took a towel and he wrapped it around his neck and he would use it to dab on his head. And then one day the towel dropped into the croissant dough and he decided, well, I need to figure out a way to keep that from falling off. So he tied it, hence the name tie. Um, well, then this, uh, you know, froofy little fashion designer came into Jacques' croissant uh, shop one day. Uh, and saw what he was wearing and asked him for permission to use that in one of his upcoming fashion shows. Uh, the designer's name was Gerard de la Gap. Um, and uh, Jacques uh, responded to, uh, to that by saying, Ha oh, oh, ha oh, ha, oh, parlez-vous at the Tower of Versailles, Napoleon? Uh, which roughly uh, translates to, uh, a woman's pits are best left unshaven. Um, and so Gerard de la Gap did the thing and the fashion, you know, kind of took over all of Europe and uh, then the fashion, the trend came to America and we have a little bit, you know, better hygiene and, and things of that nature. So uh, we washed the sweat out of the uh, dabbing towel tie thingies and um, decorated them and put potpourri on them and things like that. And so now uh, we wear these um, hideous uh, fashion accessory neckties. So I say enough. Society would do nothing but benefit from a cease and desist order on wearing neckties. So I say we issue it. They constrict your breathing, they make you uncomfortable, which makes you sweat. And who wants a nation full of sweaty people? Oh yeah, <laughs> France. It's Friday. I'm Falls and thanks for watching The Daily Idea. Pop Crunch is updated daily with everything from who's drinking too much to who's not eating enough. Find out who's out of rehab, who's out of the closet, and who's out on bail today. For the latest celebrity dirt, popcrunch.com.